Welcome back, everyone. It's an aspect of 9-11's impact that perhaps we haven't considered as much, but we noticed this week on New York Magazine's approval matrix, they listed a book called Horror After 9-11. This is Sam Miller, who co-edited the book with an English professor at Bowdoin College of Viva Breifel. Sam, welcome to The Debrief. Thank you. Thank you There's a rumor that Sam's also related to a, a producer here, but that's not why we're having you on, buddy, because 9-11 is such a story close to the hearts and minds of New Yorkers. Absolutely. This is an interesting take talking about its impact on horror films. Tell us why you first decided to put together this collection of essays. Well, I'm a huge horror movie fan, and I always have been, and I noticed in the years after 9-11 that we started to see a lot more of them. Uh, the late 90s, there were hardly any horror films uh, in mainstream theaters, and, and all of a sudden there was this big explosion. So you're uh, saying the genre had uh, it was not as popular? At that, at it had been in that? decline. Okay. It had all been right, in decline. And, and, and after this experience that we all had, this, this horrific thing that happened, um, that so many people, especially New Yorkers who were there, for it, um, kept describing as like a movie, like a horror movie. Um, initially, New Yorker, the New Yorker um, had said that this genre was going to die, uh, and in, instead the opposite happened, and, and horror movies really became a lot more popular. You point out that often Hollywood can reflect what's going on at the time, so you mentioned like the Dracula and Frankenstein movies of the Depression era, right? Uh -huh. right. And so now you say, now we see in terms of terrorism, religion, and fate, Hollywood horror films began to tackle that. Yeah, a lot of our anxieties, you know, horror movies are about what scares us, okay. and so that that, that is that is just going to be what, what that's going to tap into what we're feeling as a as a people. One of the writers gives us an example in a movie called Cloverfield. Let's just show a little bit of it. Looks like you should have left town a little bit earlier. And so that is difficult to watch. Actually, right. it does bring an image. What right. the movie maker? How does that tie in? You think? How does it impact? I think that you know. I remember standing in Fifth Avenue on 9/11, watching watching things happen, and the experience of being so terrified and frightened, but also feeling like you had no control, like you didn't know what was going to happen next. It just kept happening and happening. A horror movie, you go, you experience it. But then it's over, right? Mm -hmm. The monster gets killed, or the monster gets killed, but there's a setup for a sequel, right? Horror movies give us a safe place to experience trauma, um, and and you know filmmaking is going to tap into that. All right, well, it's a, it's a take that got the note, uh, got the attention of New York Magazine, looking at horror after 9/11, uh, and even the Twilight Saga is mentioned. You can read the essay in there and how they think it's impacted. All right, Sam, good to see you. Thank you so much. All right, buddy. Good. We'll be right back.